Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning wheel. A very beautiful story. You will learn something today. Are you ready? Wow! Now I am going to show you a picture. What do you see? Oh, what is that? What can you say about it? How does it look? Who says it looks so cute? It looks so beautiful. And who says it's yeah, it's yucky? To so some, you would say, it's cute, but others would say, yeah, it's so ugly. But children, today we will learn what will happen to that caterpillar. Yeah, by the way, that is a caterpillar. I know that you can see a lot of caterpillar around because that's very common. Now, here is a story about the very hungry caterpillar by Gary Carr. Everybody say, hungry. What do you mean by hungry? Yes, a hungry person or someone who's hungry needs food. Your tummy might be longing for food, might be aching for food. So let us continue with our story. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see that egg there? On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. Out of the egg came a very hungry caterpillar. Here is a picture of a real caterpillar coming out of its egg. For you to have an idea of how it looks, he started to look for some food. On Monday, and that's the day next to Sunday, that's Monday, he ate through one apple. How many? Yes, one apple only. But he was still very hungry. What's next to Monday? Yes, it's Tuesday. On Tuesday, he ate through two papers. But he was still hungry. One, two pears. How many pears? Yes, two. And what's next to Tuesday? Yes, Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still very hungry. Let's count. One, two, three. Three plums. And yet, he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. Ooh, these are the strawberries that he ate through. But he was still very hungry. He was not satisfied with the four strawberries. What's next to Thursday? Yes, it's Friday now. He ate through five oranges. Whoa! Can we count till five? One, two, three, four, and five. But he was still very hungry. Next to Friday is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. He ate through, let's see, a slice of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of sweet cake, one salami, one lollipop, one sausage, and one slice of watermelon. Oops, let's see if that's all. Oh, not yet. A piece of cherry pie. One cupcake. Oh, that's much. What do you think will the caterpillar feel? Yes, after eating much, that night he had a stomach ache. Can you say it? You say stomach ache. 
when you say stomach ache, your tummy would be hurting much, as if you will say, ouch, ouch, it's painful. Because he ate so much. And do you think those are the right kind of food for the caterpillar to eat? I don't think so. How about you? And now my question is, what do you think should be the food of the caterpillar? Let's see if the caterpillar would be able to find out the right food for him. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. But... He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called Cocoon around himself. So the house of the caterpillar is called, yes, it's a cocoon. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. What do you think will happen after two weeks? <sighs> then he nibbled the hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, awesome! So kids, those you think are ugly caterpillars would become a beautiful butterfly. Those butterflies that you would see around are flying on the flowers have the same background. All of them went to the same process that we call metamorphosis. Later, I will show you those life cycle or those stages that we go through. But first, let me check if you can answer the questions from the story that we have read. Let us count first and learn our numbers. How many pairs do you see? One or two? You count. Yes, two. That's correct. You have one start for that. Go back to next page. Ooh, strawberries. Can you count the strawberries? One, two, three, four. Ooh, there is number four there. Very good. Great job. Another star. So there are four strawberries. How about this one? How many apples do you see? Yes, one apple only. And there is number one. Very good. That is one. How about the oranges? How many oranges do you see? One, two, three, four. That's correct! That's five oranges. Another star for you! How about the plums? Can you count the plums? One, two, three. Yes, it's three. You've got three plums there. Another star for you. Great job, kids! You are very good in counting, huh? Now, let me show you this one. This is the life cycle of a butterfly. We are going to arrange later the correct order of its life cycle. So here, you would see that the number one is the egg stage. This is a life cycle wherein it goes round and round in the life of a butterfly. All the butterflies will go through this process. The first is the egg stage. And then it will hatch into a caterpillar. That's the larva stage. The number three is the pupa stage, where it, it will wrap itself in a cocoon and stay there for two weeks. And the fourth and final stage would be the adult stage. So you would say egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Now let's see the number that goes with each one. Hmm, the caterpillar stage or the larva stage. Is it one, two, three, four? Yes, it's the number two on the stage of the life cycle of the butterfly. Great job. How about hmm, the chrysalis or the pupa stage? Is it one, two, three, four, or five? Correct again. It's on the third stage or number three on its life cycle stage. Wait, how about the butterfly or the adult stage? Yes, of course, that's number 
four. Very good. And final question is, how about the exhale? One, two, three, or four. Great job again. It's very good. It's, of course, the number one on the life cycle of a butterfly. Great job. Great job. Great job. Very good. Children, here is the lesson that I wanted to understand. Aside from the numbers, aside from the days of the week that we have learned from that story, aside from the life cycle of the butterfly, there's one thing that you could learn from it. From Psalm 139.14, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That verse tells you, same with that butterfly. It would look ugly at the beginning. Others would not appreciate how it looks. Always remember, God loves you. You are the most beautiful in the eyes of God. You are special because it is Him who you. Thank you so much for listening today and I hope that you have learned something. God bless you. Bye.